Well, guys, we're here at the autograph area. Come here and you can meet some of your famous stars. How you doing? Oh, is it really? So you're here to get autographs. And down here, you got Bill Shagner here. Guy over here that we have for um, Shazam. Carl Weathers is here. Walter Keon, George Chappay, Matthew Lewis, Christopher. Can't read the last name. But unfortunately, uh, we're not allowed to interview these fine folks. But this is pretty much the heart of the expo. Standing in here and getting uh, autographs. Everybody's have their own version of the cosplay. Digging the old school track here. We got more autographs over here. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Collector Zone. We're talking to cosplayers and I'm digging the costumes. Would you tell us a little bit about the passion you have for cosplay? Oh, we kind of just love uh, just wearing the costume to imitate them. Um, we just really like uh, I love Star Trek and he loves Star Wars. And, and clearly the two don't mix. Yeah. But today it's working. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, thank you for being on the Collector Zone. You guys have fun today. Okay. How you doing? Are you enjoying the expo? I'm doing great. I'm having a lot of fun here. Can you tell us a little bit about your passion for cosplaying and your wonderful costume? Thank you. So I made everything that you see here. I've been cosplaying for about uh, five years now, um, and I've made a lot of things in that time, and it's just been a lot of fun crafting it, because I feel like I'm more a part of my costume when I make it myself. So. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm impressed. Thank you for your time and being on the Collector Zone. I appreciate you. Of course, thank you. Whoa, check this costume out. That's beautiful, man. That is, I am impressed. Do you play Halo? <laughs> Had to go for that one. Whoa, check this out. It's the Mandalorian. This is awesome. Beautiful costume, man. Whoa, check this out. We ran into Stan Lee. I'm with the Collector Zone. We're talking to a lot of cosplayers. You thought I died, didn't you? Yeah. I... No, no, that was all a hoax. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I'm glad you're still kicking it with us. Uh, yeah. Literally. I want to stay up with you guys. Stan, I want to get a picture. Have a good one. Thank you for your time, man. You bet, man. Have a good one. You too. And there's John again. I think he's stalking me. How cool is this? Well, that's awesome. Wow. That is really cool. How you doing? I'm with the Collector Zone. We were talking to folks about what they're, what they're doing uh, and, of course, their passion. Part of the 501st, I'm seeing. Uh, part of the 501st, but part of the Droid Builders. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, droid Builders, the uh, main website is astromech.net. Um, Basically, a bunch of passionate Star Wars fans who enjoy building the life-size droids and coming here and get to show them off to a bunch of people. Um, it's an expensive hobby, but it's very much worth it. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, a bunch of materials you can build them with. Uh, you can do wood, you can do aluminum, you can do uh, 3D printing's coming up right now. You can do a bunch of the detail work and like resin parts. 
Um, so there's a lot of ways to do it. But yeah, astromech.net if you're interested, check it out. Lots of places, uh, answers, and place for your questions. <laughs> well guys, you got the website. We can check out a little more in detail. But this is awesome. Oh, yeah. car. There you go, guys. There, there's how you reach those fine folks. You want to build a droid? Go there. There you go. <laughs> and you know, it, it's great because once you get into the community, we work together uh, and help each other out with a lot of bills. Uh, a lot of these guys, we've all helped each other where our weakness is somebody else's strength. So it's really great to work together and create these amazing you know, pieces of art. Well, I'm super impressed. <laughs> um, how much time does it take to build a droid? Some of them take a, a long time. Uh, some people can do them quickly. Uh, like mine, for example, it was going real quick the first year. I'm now about three and a half years into the build. But, um, you know, it's, it's been time and money, but every step makes it that much closer, motivates me, and I just, I just get closer and closer to having something that's, that's going to make everybody really happy. Well, that's cool. I appreciate your time and being on the Collector Zone. No problem. You guys enjoy. Okay, guys, we're going to take a look here. Wow. And of course, he was talking about some of it's made out of wood. This is really interesting to see, you know, pretty much all the work that goes into these. How you guys doing? Alright, yeah. Very impressive. Did y'all guys build this yourself? Did you guys build this yourself? Yeah. How long does it take to make one of these? It depends on how detailed you're going and how much stuff you're adding on to it. It could be, you know, like a month, it could be a year. Wow. So, well, there's a passion definitely there. Yeah. I see great, great work. I mean, I was super impressed. Thank you. You caught me across the room. <laughs> well, thank you for your time and being on the collector show. Well, guys, check out the 501st. Now, all the proceeds is going to the Pierre Mayhew Foundation. So head over to their website and uh, donate if you can. Look at this, guys. I'm be hanging with some stormtroopers. How you guys doing? I'm with the collector zone. Part of the 501st. Excellent. I'm really impressed. Whoever's behind this. They did a great job. Yeah. yeah. Of course, there's nothing to sneeze at. Oh, I gotta take a look at this. Wow. Is this life size? It is full size, yeah. Full scale. Full so we scale. Got the motorized antennas, the head turns, the wall turret turns. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's controlling it over there. The remote. See him on the far side of the black shirt? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my son. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeff with the Collector Zone. Oh, my name is Jesse. Jesse, nice yeah. to meet you. South Texas Bible First, yeah. Love the costumes. Big oh, Star Wars fan, of course. Excellent. And this right here. Oh, my goodness. Did you see it drive around? Uh -uh. Oh yeah, this is uh this is all uh, motorized deep cycle batteries, wheelchair based frame. We drive it all around the con. We're gonna take it out here in a minute. Excellent. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Oh, oh thank you very much. You have a good time. Guys, beautiful costumes, guys. Uh oh, she's got a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hi there. I'm Jeff with the Collector Zone. I'm Phil Grubinoff. I'm responsible for the general over here. You're the guy. I'm the guy. What do you want to know? Well, can you tell us a little bit about it? And which, would you mind going next to it? Sure. So I found the guy responsible for this beautiful creation. Thank you. So how long did it take for you to make this? Um, no, I'm waiting on the back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, about five years on and off. 
Wow. And you have done an amazing job. Thank you. I've never seen one life size like this before. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's, there's a handful around the world, but not, not to, the, to the extent that he's freestanding. And he's also, I also operate him from behind the case. Oh, wow. So I was in the photo booth uh, uh, this, this past hour. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time and being on the collector zone. Okay. Nice to have you. Uh, nice, thank you for having me. Look at this, guys. The oh. detail is just amazing. It, you got to see this in person because it, the video is not doing it justice. Awesome, awesome job, dude. Thank you. Are you responsible for the sand people? No. <laughs> no. Still cool, too. Oh, check out these helmets. Whoa. Now, once again, guys, Bible First is supporting the Peer Mayhew Foundation. Hit up the website and donate. out hey man can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here at the expo and it's a nice costume by the way well, thank you uh, enjoying a, a taste of what we've been uh, without for the past year and a half so it's great to be back in cosplay among everybody enjoying this uh, con and just the community so it's awesome right on. well I appreciate your time of being on the collector zone All right, I appreciate it well so can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing today here at the fan expo uh, I'm Derek. I'm Derek. Yeah, we're D&D Studios. We're uh, here selling art, selling comics, children's books, uh, working on art commissions. Having right. a good time. Absolutely. And so how long have you been doing this? Lifelong pass uh, pa uh, passion, I believe, right? Uh, probably. Uh, yeah. As long as I can remember. I've been, writing, I've been writing since before I knew how to form words. Remember, really? Yeah, I was scribbling on paper and tell stories. Now, was there one thing that inspired you as a child to go this, down this pathway? Uh, Archie Comics presents Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. I saw that on a spinner rack when I was seven or eight years old. Flipped it open. I'd never seen words and pictures combined in such a way before, and it absolutely broke my brain. I've never gone back. Nice. I'm a, I've always drawn, so and I love telling stories. So put those things together and end up doing comics. So. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, I wish I was that talented, but I'm not. But I do appreciate your time of being on the Collector Zone. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Man, check this out. That is an awesome costume. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, this is my white diamond cosplay. Um, it is all handmade. Um, I, I actually, it's a little funny because the wig, this is actually just an earring. <laughs> I got it from Claire's. <laughs> that will, I would never know unless you said something. Um, this is all just craft foam. Uh, the fabric. The fabric. I actually, this is all is inspired by this fabric. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah. I found it at Joann's and I was like, well, I got a cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically it. I love white diamond. Right. On. Well, I appreciate your time and being on the collector zone. You guys have fun today. Thank you. You too. I found a real awesome musician. And he's going to do something cool for us. So here's what I want you to do. All right. To watch very carefully. I want you to watch that card. That okay. card right there. That card is the King of Clubs. I want you to watch the King of Clubs. Keep your eyes on the King of Clubs. And whatever you do, cannot stress this enough. Do not lose. Do not lose the king of clubs so how are we doing so far have you lost it are yeah we, don't worry we'll just start over it's no big deal whoa now, that's cool i'm going to show you how to do that actually it's very easy you see all you need is a deck of cards where all of the cards <laughs> are the king of clubs but of course i am a professional magician so i do it the hard way with a regular deck of cards what? 
Oh, wow, man. That so I'll tell awesome. you what, do you like mind reading? Yes. I regrettably do not, by the way, that's the correct answer. I do <laughs> not have the ability to read minds, so you're going to have to do it. Now I have here, in one of these pockets, I have here a small selection of cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think, concentrate very hard on one of only one of these cards. What I want you to do is read my mind, and when you think you know which card I'm thinking of, I want you to say the name of that card in a loud, clear voice. Okay, I think I got it. Say it. Seven of diamonds. That is incredible. I was, in fact, thinking of the seven di of diamonds. Is that not amazing? That is trippy, man. Now, do you know why I was thinking of the seven diamonds? No, why? This is why. You see, all of these cards have red backs. The seven of diamonds is the only one with a blue back. Now, did you notice that in this selection of cards, there's one that stands out. Do you see it? Yes. Which one is it? Queen of diamonds. The queen of diamonds. That's interesting. We're going to get to that in a moment, but there is in fact another one that stands out even more to most people. Oh, eight of clubs. The eight of clubs. We'll get to the Queen of Diamonds in a moment, but the Eight of Clubs, many people see that and they think, aha, he wants me to say that, and so they say it. But you have to wonder, having it brought to your attention, what color would the back of Eight of Clubs have been had you said it? It would be red. Well, I did just show you that they all have red backs, so that makes sense. Wait, you didn't think it was going to change colors, did you? Yeah. That would have been amazing. It no, would no. be. I must apologize. I do not have the ability to change the color of the back of the Eight of Clubs. Whoa. Now, you mentioned the Queen of Diamonds, and you are indeed correct. The Queen of Diamonds is the only face card. And yes, once again, people notice that, and they think, aha, he wants me to say the Queen of Diamonds. But you didn't say the Queen of Diamonds. Nope. But with that said, and having it brought to your attention, surely you must wonder, what if I had said it? What color would the back of the Queen of Diamonds be if I had said it? It would be red. Well, I did just show you that they all have blue backs. Oh. Did you think it was going to change colors? Uh, at this point, I don't know what to think. Well, <laughs> I do not have the ability to change the color of the back of the Queen of Diamonds. What? But wait. Keep your eyes on the cards. Don't take them off. Are you watching? Yep. Would you please flip the cards over? One at a time? All of them, any way you like. Just flip them over. Whoa! That's awesome, dude! So do you want one more? Yes! So what I'm going to share with you now, and I do not say this lightly, is the single most perfect visual effect in the history of man. This is not an exaggeration. I've been a magician for a very long time. And in that time, I've seen a great deal of magic. And of all the things I've seen, nothing is more magical than what I'm about to share with you. Now, you see that I'm unable to separate my hands from each other in this position, yes? Yes. I bring that to your attention because that is precisely what I'm going to do. I'm going to separate my hands from each other. And the way that I'm going to do that is by causing these two bands to pass through each other. Now, it's very subtle, so you're going to have to watch closely, or you won't see the moment when I can separate my hand. <laughs> Would you like to see that again? Yes. Now, watch closely this time. This one goes into this space. We're in agreement. That is in that space, yes? Yep. That one is in that space. And I will even tell you, it happens right there. That is the moment when the bands pass through each other. Wow, that's cool. I thank you, sir, and I bid you a very good day. Thank you for being on the collector zone. You take care now. How cool is that? They have some more stuff over here. <laughs> That's cool. These are all cool.
Yeah. And Chad Harden too. He'll sign for free. The artist. These are really cool guys. And there's some more, oh, right here. Hey, sir. How you doing? I'm Jeff with the Collector Zone. Hey, Jeff. We're covering some of the exhibits here. Oh. Um, can you tell us your name and a little bit about what you got going on here? Hi, my name's Steven Ohola and uh, I run MB Artist, where we represent nine other artists. And essentially what we do is we give them opportunities to uh, get their artwork out in different mediums. So whether it be like our canvases or our card back displays for loose action figures, uh, we do platinums, we do prints, and we also do a special every month, we do what's called a Golden Age Tribute Release. So uh, this month is Wiz Comics, which is the original Captain Marvel. Wow. Golden Age. So that's what we do. We represent like Joe Rubenstein, Bob McLeod, Chad Harded, young rising stars like Jamie Coker, Francine Delgado. So yeah, mbartist.com. Check us out. Right. Well, I appreciate your time and being on the collector zone. And my hat's off to the artist and that beautiful Star Wars. That's what got my mind right but there. It was beautiful, man. Every time I put that up, two hours later, I take it down. So. It's right. a hot piece. I hear you. Well, I appreciate your time, and you have a good one. Well, look at all these cool costumes, guys. Wow, these are beautiful costumes. How you doing? I'm with the Collector Zone. We're Hello. talking to cosplayers. Would you like to talk a little bit about your costume? Sure, absolutely. So, who is this? I'm Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. Okay. With a medieval take plate mail you know I tried to be original about it so far I'm the only one that I've seen wow and 3d printing 3d printing foam look it's really impressive thank you and I appreciate you being on the collector zone thank you look at these guys here beautiful costumes this is the collector zone we are talking to cosplayers would you like to talk about your costumes Excellent, and you? I'm the Radiance, and I am a god of light. Excellent. Well, beautiful costumes, guys. How you guys doing? Look at this. This is crazy. Uh oh. It's a Star Wars shark. How amazing is that? <laughs> How you guys doing? Hi. Wow. You're on, you're on the collector zone. Beautiful costumes, guys. Love the costumes. Wow, that is cool. Oh, look at this. He's got a knife. <laughs> and he brought his victim. <laughs> How you guys doing? I'm on the collect I'm part of the collector zone. We are doing talking to cosplayers. Would you guys like to talk a little bit about your cosplaying? Sure. Yeah, I'm Moxie from Borderlands. Right, oh, that's a beautiful costume. Did it take a while to make it? Yeah. You did an awesome job. And you, sir? I'm Adult Steven from Steven Universe. Excellent! <laughs> How you guys doing? I'm nice good. costume. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your costume? How long oh, it took you um, to make it? So, I'm Annie Leonhardt from Attack on Titan. And I just wanted to go as far because I love the show. Ron, well, I appreciate your time. I am Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Oh, hey! <laughs> Snap! Thank you, thank you. Ron, man. Yes! Well, guys, this is what it's about. Hanging at the Fan Expo and all these guys are cosplaying. Look at this. Great costumes. Wow. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at this, how are you doing? You're on the collector zone? Nice costume, guys. 
Right on, man. And we got the hook. Oh, no. <laughs> Excellent, brother. Oh, look at this. How you doing? Nice costume, bro. Thank you. Look at this. And you, where are you dressed as? Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Snap. <laughs> Excellent costumes, guys. And look at this. It's a knight, but he has two legs now. <laughs> Love Marty Python. I'm invincible. Now, actually, you have a passion for Python, right? How long did it take for you to do the costume? I assembled it over several months. You know, bought this, bought this, you know, found, you know, I, I, heard, I sourced it all. Yeah. And the, the, my mom bought me the pants. Excellent. Well, nice costume, brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look, it's Indiana Jones. Yeah, of course. Nice to see you again. <laughs> wow, look at all this. Thank you. You're welcome. How you doing? Hi. Hello. You're on the collector zone. Woo. Look at beautiful costume, guys. Hello. Hello. Nice. Appreciate. I love that, man. <laughs> Holy smokes! It's Roger Rabbit's girlfriend, Jessica Rabbit. Well, that is a beautiful costume. Now. I'm talking to a lot of cosplayers. Would you like to share a little bit about your passion of cosplaying? Um, sure. I love cosplaying because it lets me be someone else uh, day to day. Day to day, I work at a job that keeps me very grounded, and this lets me be me. Excellent. And you, I, that is beautiful, man. This is my first time cosplaying anything. Well, so... I was going to say, are you really cosplaying? It's like I'm Eddie Valiant. Eddie Valiant. Oh, man. <laughs> See, I'm talking to a few of these folks. I'm like, going, that looks familiar. But yeah, excellent costumes, guys. Thank you. Got more cosplayers here. How you guys doing? You're on the collector zone? A lot of passion is put in these costumes. And it's really nice. It's really cool to see a lot of people's creativity come out. Look at this! Whoa! That is an awesome costume! Beautiful, beautiful. How you doing? Great costumes, guys. You're on the collector zone. Oh, wow. Cool. Nice costume. Now that's a gun. That is cool. We're talking to a few cosplayers, talking about their passion. How long have you been cosplaying? Oh, uh, this is our first day, actually. First time doing it's it? first weekend to do it. Right on. Home may cry, Dante, lady. Excellent. His name is not married. Well, that is, must have took a lot of time, man. Oh, yeah. It took Three months, different. a lot of money. Excellent. Well, thanks for being on the Collector Zone. How you guys doing? That is cool. Now, I've been hanging out talking to these fine folks, and they do comics, and he's a writer. And I heard now there was word on the street. Oh, yeah. That your cable guy turned you on into your, this passion that you got going on. That's absolutely true. Would you like to share that story with us? Yeah, man, for sure. Uh, it's kind of funny. He came by to set up our cables. He saw all of our art on the wall, and then... He said, you know, man, I'm trying to make a comic too. He showed it to me, and one thing led to another. I ended up writing for it. Um, it didn't end up working out, but by that point, I had already become an editor, already started doing so much work, and I just decided, no, 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 I gotta keep going. An old friend of mine gave me one of my old scripts, and we turned it to this book, which is Welcome to the Void. And since then, we've just kept on working, and now I've had the opportunity to work with some big companies and do some amazing stuff, and it's been a fantastic ride, and here we are at Fan Expo. Right on. And then you have this book you wrote, too? I have this. It's based on our, our bi-weekly audio drama called The Chronicles of the Essence Guard. Mm -hmm. This is from seasons one and two that we novelized, and you can actually go on any of the major podcast sites, and you can find it, and we're all the way up just about to finish season three and that next book. Right on. Well, I appreciate your time and being on the Collector Zone. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Right on.